Hi guys, uh, doing a video on uh, introduction of parasitic Lasius interjectus. Lasius interjectus is in the subgenus Acanthomyops, uh, also known as Citronella ants. In Ohio, there are three species that we have. Lasius interjectus by far is the most common. If you black light, you're going to get two, three, four dozen, maybe even more of these in a season. So they're they're very easy to come by. Um, the uh, next most common is uh, Lysias clavager, uh, which uh, is 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 not as common as a fiticola or some of the other parasitic Lysias, but certainly is, is caught with some regularity. And then Lysias latipes, which in some areas of the U.S. is very common. In Ohio, it's not. I've never seen one. Uh, I think we've had one or two members of the Ohio Ants Discord catch one, but they're they're very very uncommon for sure. Lysias interjectus is really the most common one. Uh, they are a temporary social parasite, uh, which means they invade nests, and um, they're a little bit different than some other ones. And <clears throat> in the wild, naturalists have observed many, many times that they generally will invade nests in groups, which is uh, atypical for most temporary social parasites. Most of them go in solo, and because of that, uh, we try to reproduce that biology. What we do when we catch our interjectus is we put them in an outworld, something like this, and that's where these three ladies were. They were in here, actually, we caught more than that, but um, they don't last forever in captivity. Uh, they do die after a week or two or three or four, so they don't really, we, at least we haven't been able to get them to, uh, to, to last for a long time. But their natural biology is they will keep their wings and they will fly around, become, uh, remain very mobile, and look for other uh, Lysias interjectus queens. And when they find them, they will get together in groups. And, uh, and once they find their, their uh, brute squad, if you want to call it that, their group of ladies that are, that are going to go in and nest together, then they drop their wings. So, so commonly, they, that's why they show up at black lights, because they'll keep their wings while they're looking for their, for their posse, and, uh, and then they'll drop their wings. So these three ladies were housed together. This one dropped its wings. Uh, this one dropped her wings. The third one didn't, and I'll show you her in a minute. Um, their uh, preferred host is Lasius clavager. Um, last year, we, like I said, we tried Lasius americanus, didn't work out so well. You can uh, back up in this video series and, and watch that. We got to, I think, pupa, and then they failed over the winter. I think we uh, just got them started too late, and obviously it was not their preferred host, so that was part of the issue. It was a very, very long process to, uh, to get them to actually um, eclose biological workers, and uh, by the time that happened, fall had come around. So I want to uh, give a shout out and a very big thank you to Carr from the Ohio Hans Discord who found a nice Lasius clavager colony for me, uh, for us, and, uh, and pulled it out and pulled a bunch of pupa out. Uh, this is enormous, as you can see. We've already taken some pupa and put it into those nests. And here uh, you can see there's a ton more. And we are not, this, this nest was not destroyed at all. This nest was not harmed. He, he was careful stole this stuff and we clearly will not use all of this. I will use some pupa and whatever people we don't use we will return along with all of these workers to um, uh, to the rock behind Carr's house. Um, but uh, we've kept them in here uh, with some wet cotton balls and kept it hydrated and have waited until callows came out and once they had closed several callows we took the callows and put them into these small little uh, Ohio ants uh, founding plus nests. And I don't know if you can even see, yeah, you can see right there in the corner, there's one right there. Yeah, there she is. So you can see there's one there. And I don't, I think they're buried under the pupa in that one. But if we get a, try to get a good look at one of these, where did she go? She's right here. So you can get an idea of her color. She's fairly light colored. And I'm gonna run right over and show you once again. Let's see if I can get the light on that a little bit better. So running back over here to take another look at the adult workers, you can see that that is much darker and much more orange colored. So the callows, if you're not familiar with callows, are newly eclosed workers that just came out of pupa and they're lighter colored 
and it takes a while for their exoskeleton to harden up and with that comes a darker color. So they'll end up looking like this. But right now the callows are very light colored. And what we did is we took two callows and put them in each of these nests and then took some pupa and put them in there and then put the queens out here. And I haven't shown you the queen over here because this queen has actually already found the nest. And she is right there looking around. The two callows are still here. You can see them both in frame. And they are uninjured and she walked right by them so that's a very good sign. But she's checking this out and that's interesting because this is the one that still has the wings. But she definitely does not seem like she's on alert. She's cleaning herself. She's not running around like crazy. She's just chilling. She seems like she's happy and she has passed by those two callows so I don't think it's a big deal and it probably will be successful because like I said that's their that's their normal that's their normal host so these two ladies are still running around eventually they'll they'll find the nest opening they'll go in there and they should be able to um, they should be able to start colony so we will see I will um, give you guys up updates as time goes on and uh, we will uh, Just hold on here a second because she's wandering right over to that Kello. And she walked right over top of her and didn't care. So I'm thinking that's a win. I'm thinking that's a win. At any rate, so we will give them some time. We'll give you an update shortly. Thank you.